Every winter, the North Pacific humpback whales begin their long journey back to the warm, shallow waters of Maui to escape the cold waters of Alaska. Because we don't have the contrast of seasons on Maui, for me, their return has always been an indication of winter and that another year has passed. I vividly remember my first time hearing these whales underwater. The songs of the humpback whales, much like these gentle mammals themselves, are magical and hypnotizing. During this time of year, when the ocean is really calm, you can hear them from a far distance and you can almost feel their presence. I have a favorite spot on the island to watch these whales play and interact with each other. I can sit here for hours with my camera and just get lost in time. I've seen them hundreds of times, but each time I'm reminded that we're part of something so much bigger than ourselves and that we're just one small thread in this intricate fabric of our ecosystem. Only in nature, I can really zoom out from the context of my daily life and appreciate life for what it truly is. And this feeling makes me feel alive more than anything. Growing up, I moved around every two to three years, from different cities to countries and even continents. The constant change of scenery and the chance to start all over again was exciting and felt like a new adventure every single time. I wouldn't trade my childhood for anything in the world, but it had a big role in shaping me, my definition of happiness. After a while, I began to crave that feeling of change and I tried to replicate the feeling of excitement by traveling to new places, buying cool things to fill my house, my wardrobe, always seeking more and something different. It was a constant chase for a target that was ever moving, but soon I realized that this was a distraction from living and enjoying my life that was happening right in front of me. The beauty of a simple life is that it taught me all the change I craved was happening all around me. From the little things, the small moments of our daily lives, the nature that surrounds me, the melody of my ukulele, the blossoms of a beautiful flower, the delicate sunlight as it shines through the leaves. 
These moments are seemingly small, but nevertheless extraordinary. I always think to myself, at the end of my journey, what will I remember the most? It won't be the stamps in my passport, how many languages I speak, the books that I've read, the things I owned, the car I drove, and it definitely won't be how big my social media was. To me, I'll always remember the feeling of running around like a crazy person with my dogs at the park. Falling in love with the people in my life. Being content in my own solitude. Meeting the random yet carefully placed characters we come across in our paths. These are the moments I will miss the most. And knowing this, I decided that I will do anything to have more of these moments right now when I can. Far too often, we're blinded by our culture, society, consumerism, that we completely overlook the fine details as a way to add real meaning to our lives. But recognizing these moments are what moves us forward towards a simpler and more fulfilling life. A simple life to me means choosing our own narrative, the storyline for our own lives. By default, everything else becomes fluff, a distraction to keep us busy from living the life that we choose. Even when things become dysfunctional and chaotic, I always try to remember that I have immense control over my life by what I choose to pay attention to, who I surround myself with, and the small actions I take every single day. From the surface of the ocean, we can't always see the whales, but I know that they come every winter. Soon, the whales will leave us again and head up north, and I will miss them so much. Even if they're expected to come every year following a seasonal pattern, I always want to welcome them with fresh new eyes every time. They are a reminder for me that change is not always visible, but it's always happening, whether it's external or internal. And it is up to us to recognize it and embrace it no matter how big or small.